what did the T-Rex sound like? You wouldn't be in the minority to believe that the T-Rex sounded something like this. This sound is probably one of the most recognisable sound effects in all of film, terrifying cinema goers for many years. It was created by combining a baby elephant, crocodile and tiger roar together. But is it really what the T-Rex sounded like? For years we've speculated what the Tyrannosaurus would have sounded like, using animal sounds to try and replicate it. The howls of wolves, roars of tigers and the trumpeting of elephants. These sounds have resonated with us throughout history and informed us on whether something's big, small or threatening. But have we been looking at it all wrong? Well, to find out, we have to look towards the state of Texas. Professors at the University of Texas have been researching on what the T-Rex would have sounded like, and instead of looking at modern-day mammals for research, they've been looking at birds and alligators, close relatives to the dinosaurs. And they say that the T-Rex wouldn't have roared at all, but instead it would have made a sound that's less loud and much more unsettling. They found this out by scanning the brain case of a Tyrannosaurus fossil, which contained outlines of the hearing organs. It turns out that the T-Rex had extremely sensitive hearing organs, and it was especially good at picking up low frequency sounds, even lower than most humans can even hear. And it wouldn't just have been heard, it would have been felt. They stated that the T-Rex would have sounded something like the Jaws theme. Using audio editing software, I've replicated what the T-Rex would have sounded like, and for the first time in 66 million years, you're about to hear the distinct sound of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it would have sounded something like this. The T-Rex wouldn't have the need to open its mouth thanks to closed mouth vocalization. This is common amongst birds and reptiles and the noise would have travelled through vibrations. This sound would not only be the most terrifying noise you would have heard, but also felt, as it vibrated through your spine, getting louder and louder as it drew closer. Chris Packham of the BBC had this to say, There's a sort of primal fear that's associated with sounds like that, and when you think about it, the T-Rex didn't need to roar, it needed to be able to communicate over the huge areas in which it hunted. It's the same sound that horror films use to scare audiences, which begs the question, is it in our nature to be terrified of these low frequency sounds, and are all animals scared of the same sound too? It may not be the sound fans of films like Jurassic Park were hoping, but it's definitely equally as terrifying in its own right. So there you have it, the T-Rex roar heard for the first time in 66 million years, and you're some of the first to hear it. Of course, this is all based on research and theories and we're all entitled to our own viewpoints. It's been 64 million years since the dinosaurs were wiped clean from the earth, so chances are we'll never hear the exact sound of a T-Rex. But from my perspective, this is probably the closest that we're going to get. But what do I know? I'm just a dinosaur YouTuber. If you learned something new with this video, then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to us at Dangerville to become a resident with us today. I've been your host Alistair, and we'll see you in the next one.